Shema, it's me, Pierre. Welcome with a new video. Welcome on my channel, but I a little bit share with you about my life in Malaysia. So recently, well, it's been like a let's say like a two weeks already now. Two Fridays, I attend to the meetings, which is in our like a community in our condo, to to talk about the problems that we have, the problems that we're facing, and. People just coming around and actually trying to sort it out some things. I mean, by sorting out some things, it's like, you know, every condo has their, so, well, every condo has some problems, yeah? With the people, with the security, with the parcels, food and, and things like this. So, of course, there is a GMB, which, let's say, trying to help out with, uh, with for us, for, for the residents, for the owners, for the tenants. But to be honest with you, after those two weeks, when I was attending those meetings, I do believe that there's so much work for them that I, I don't know how they're dealing with it. Uh, plus, I don't know how they can like uh, <laughs> manage to stay calm when they're speaking with some people because some of the people I'm telling you guys, they are just crazy and they create so many problems that <laughs> whatever you want to do to please the people, they will still be angry and they will not accept any kind of a <laughs> solution so that's quite actually interesting for me to listen all of the stories and the second thing if i attend to those meetings at least uh, i know what's happening can say my concerns can share with our opinions can share with a uh, with a solution which is which is quite good and a little bit help out uh, to the group of the people that are managing with this building to maybe make some decision decisions actually that will help all of us but <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something that I don't understand and really uh, there's a two things actually that I don't understand why people doing things like this and those people like are complaining a lot about the action that being taken just right now so just need to find a pre perfect spot for it because it's quite warm and yeah, get a tan after coming back from the after coming back from the from the Zunagara that you can see in the last video. Wow, all my neck was burned because of the sun. <laughs> I had to use a lot of aloe vera to just like a make it more like a moisture to, that I would don't feel any kind of a pain or anything like this. So yeah, let me find the spot. So basically, the first thing that we are facing, and I think all people, I mean, all the condos facing with uh, the same problem. Some, some condos have a less problems, some condos have a bigger problems, but uh, it's a food. So what's happening in our condo, many, many times happen situation that people order the food, but they don't pick it up. Sometimes they pick it up the food after a few hours. Sometimes they don't even dare to go downstairs and pick their food. So for me, when I hear of these stories like uh, that people don't have a time to pick it up, then of, of course there will be a question, then why you even order the food? Why you bother to order the food if you don't have a time to pick it up? Of course, there is a plenty of excuses. Meetings, not free, showering, things like this. And then I always say like, well, then you need to manage with your time, isn't it? It's like a, your problem, like a, you need to think what you want to do. If you, for example, want to order the food and you are hungry or something like this, then you should be able to pick it up. So I know that most of the condos have a, uh, have a table, yeah? But since we have so many problems, plus pe people left the uh, food on the tables, the, the committee, GMB management, decided to remove the, the, the table, which started causing the very, very big problem for uh, many, many people actually. But really a big, big, big problem because now they cannot be lazy. They have to go and pick it up by themselves. So of course there is a plenty of complaining, plenty of things that people don't agree. And and really sometimes <laughs> the messages that are sent to the some of the committee members like can you pick it up because I don't have a time you know it's just like trying to find someone who will do they like a job especially that uh, it's not any any kind of a responsibility that need to face by the by the committee member or by the uh, by the by the management office because there's no any law that they should help you to do it i know that the table was convenient for everyone but i think if i'm not mistaken the tables in the condos was introduced you know 
when we had uh, those times you know what i mean like a few years ago which was good but now it's time to change especially that some of the actions that happening down there where is the tables are not acceptable i mean you know sometimes the tables are very dirty that's one thing uh that attracts a lot of ants cockroaches and everything so some of the foods can easily get infestated by those bugs and everything so that was one of the reasons and there is a few other reasons but i can't really talk about this like openly on the on the channel but uh yeah i'm not mentioning about the stolen food and everything so you know that causing a lot of problems and that's just crazy many many times there was a memo issued by the by the by the by the management office that you have to take care about your food and everything that the no one is responsible for that but still people just don't listen people like ordering don't pick it up which 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 is silly because i don't understand why you're doing things like this it's like a wasting of money wasting of food because later the food needs to be throw out throw throw to the bins someone needs to do it which taking a time resources and everything so those some of the people are really not responsible not responsible for uh, for uh, for their like uh, action and everything this is just crazy what's happening now so yeah so they decide to remove it and well plenty of people complaining but we will see how it's gonna be how it's gonna be like an outcome like a final outcome about those because to be honest with you i really don't understand the, the people how they behaving i don't know they thinking like uh, they maybe <laughs> living in the posh condo that it's i don't know worth a few million per unit then yeah maybe you will have a let's say some kind of a person who will help you to do all these things but we don't have so uh, i'm telling you some of the mindset of the people is just is just crazy i cannot just understand why those people doing things like so this the second thing that is quite problematic in our condo is a parcels there is a plenty plenty of a parcels no one pick it up for a weeks some of them really for a weeks no one wants to go to the no one wants to go to the mail room and just pick it up which is strange because normally usually yeah if you if you order the parcels yeah, when they arrive if you will go some people can't be even asked to go to to the to the mail room after a few weeks few days i just don't understand it's the same situation like with uh, uh like with a uh, food and then again if something will happen with those parcels that is like missing parcels someone stole someone open i don't know some, some there is always like a blame by the security by the management by the committee or whoever is working for a like for our condo everywhere is a blame on them even if those not the responsibility for a for a security keep an eye on the on the parcels because actually it's the same situation like i told you like a, with a food it's your responsibility to pick it up your parcels when it's arrived so it's just crazy more than that there is <laughs> last time when they like clean a little bit this room the, 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 and check the parcels and everything they found the parcels from the september then then how i understand that sometimes you can forget about something but usually i do believe if you order something yeah then you remember about this that you rem that you that you that you order something and then you will go to pick it up mostly of the drivers delivery drivers will send you a message some of them will call they will do you can check your application even the, the lazada shopee or whatsoever it will show you that it's delivered already but still people just don't care and when there's the problem of course they will blame everyone but not themselves which uh, because they they, they they do believe that it's not their problem someone have to bring their parcels for them someone have to take care for this so they just don't take the responsibility for that what they actually doing which is which is crazy and then can you imagine the situation if if someone come into the to you if you work for example in some office and they say oh i ordered the parcel like a few months ago it didn't arrive and then you come in we have november now half of a november and someone asking for a can you can you check for me the last few months it's like it's taking like a lot of a time to do things like this if you want to have that request or something then it's going to take ages to to find it to try to check for example the cctv but still people will blame you people will go to the even to the police station then they have to drag everyone from the management everyone from the from the from the from the security to this is crazy hey guys so some of these people just creating so many problems like uh that basically they can do by themselves no need to do anything just a little bit contribute to to all the community that we are here but they still don't want it and then 
when you will go and you will read all those messages all the time complain 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 this is bad this is not good and and using other words of course which i don't want to use it from the from the obvious reason but it's just crazy sometimes i have a feeling like how those people can just stand all those kind of a people like i just don't know i was thinking like maybe oh i had a idea that maybe i should like involve somehow like maybe be in the uh being the the, the the what's it called jmb but then i cannot be because the problem is that uh yeah i'm not the owner on the paper so i can't be but i'm telling you guys that some of the people are really i just don't understand and and the biggest problem is actually with the younger people i think the older people don't really complain they don't just bother they just will do and and they just like uh, can follow the rules but the youngsters can't just can't and and more than that is like uh, you know sometimes the situation is like that they want to change the rules but actually those people who complain is maybe 10 20 people and most of the people here just don't 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 bother they will just follow the rules if someone set it up like this because the so some there's some problems then they will just follow they will say okay we will do let's see how it is without the scolding without the complaining without doing anything it's just crazy anyway i'm thinking that uh, most of us are i mean most of us most of the people who live in the condo they're facing some some of the problems but for me those problems that people create here, here actually there is no problems i think we should consider well consider i think we should take take care more about the like a more major more bigger problem than this what people causing but some of them is just i don't know it's just interesting we will see tomorrow tomorrow is friday probably i will go to see what people say and then and again probably listen to some of the stories uh, and just like uh, sometimes i just sitting there and shaking their head because i just can't understand how people can just behave like this which is it's just crazy i'm telling you guys that i just really sometimes i just can't understand uh, how people behave um, i don't know it's just crazy thank you for watching have a good day stay safe take care about yourself don't bother about the small problems just try to smile more and see you in the next video bye bye